Here we go. I'm sure that teamwork will play a huge part here. Yeah, most definitely. Well, we're going to find out as it looks like uh, the uh, party leader is just going to be editing some classes and then getting it going. But uh, some good insight there. I didn't know they took a map off of Impact. Uh, that's yeah, actually, actually quite impressive. They actually managed to take down two. That was before they got knocked down into the uh, loser's bracket by them. I didn't know oh, that. No, sorry, it was actually in the pool play that they did that. That was on the first day. That was the Friday of EGL 9 back in Blackpool. I didn't know that. That's that's actually quite fast. So these uh, teams have a lot of experience then, I would say. So uh, for team expectation to be performing the, uh, the way they are is doing quite a, a great job, I would say. Seriously. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. But it looks like uh, we are ready to go. Just uh, waiting a little bit for them to start it up. Hopefully they'll be starting up quite shortly. Now we can't do a listen since everybody's in party, which is quite sad. I'd like to listen to the uh, communication. I think communication is, is extremely important for really any game type or any team. As communication allows you to call out where you want to go with the flag and where the people are. And really, communication can uh, mean the difference between a win or a loss. But Slums captured a flag starting up here. Supremacy versus expectation. Round three, tied up 1-1. Go ahead and start us off, Gucci. Yeah, we are going to get ourselves into the action now. Which player do you want to go on first? I mean, I always think that we should go on board with the better side of the capture of the flag. Like you say, it is a very one-sided map. So I think we should be going on board with this uh, French side. Yeah, so let's go on board with Zalur first of all. He's rocking the MSMC. So this looks like it's going to be a very, very aggressive push. And down this left-hand side around the bricks area, nothing from his stun first of all, though. Yeah, and we're seeing Zyler make his way forward this left-hand side. Two down for Team Expectation. Now it's going to be two down for Team Supremacy. Just trying to gain some map control in the beginning of the game. Tony Judd is going to be inside this grave section trying to look over that skips. Not seeing anybody, but does see a trophy system come over that wall. And he is going to get a nice kill there on Elixity. And Tony Judd seems to be the cutoff guy. I'm expecting him to push up a little bit further once uh, Team Supremacy gains a little bit more map control. But uh, Tony Judd now loose section trying to uh, slowly make his way up into Team Expectation spawn. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, very Tony nice, right? Yeah, absolutely pulling Ainsley's pants down there, getting another kill in the form of Elixir over on that right-hand side. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to push down this area. This will make the, uh, the team spawn towards the back left. And if he does manage to get one of his teammates on that police yeah, car, the then they flag. can just run riot for days. And Tony John now pulling this flag. Tony Surely he only needs flag. one more kill for a Lightning. Not being able to get that. So that is the flag in limbo as it stands. So let's get on board with Getsum. Currently on a one kill streak around this blue area, but it is heavy stun. Returned. Yeah, and look at this. Tony Josh staying back for defense. Flag has been returned. Let's stay, uh, pay some attention right now to Team Expectation and see what they can do. Now, Wonky just trying to defend this coffee section, putting some bullets in the guy over there at Brick, but gets taken out by Reckon. Let's get up board with Reckon to see if he pushes up, and he is, in fact, going to be pushing up behind the spawn. Interesting, interesting enough, not trying to take that spawn trap. He could, in fact, have people spawn behind him. There he goes, trying to attack that skips. I don't agree with that play. I think he should have stayed there and got the spawn trap for his team, which could have been very advantageous later. Later on in the game, you've been able to pull a lot of flags from that side. Uh, but anyways, Tony, uh, I see now Team Supremacy just hanging back. They need to be more aggressive on the side. As this is the good side, what do you think, Gucci? Yeah, definitely. They need to capitalize. However, they're probably very aware that Rob's actually on a four kill streak right now. Currently rocking that seven to one. Not far off his hellstone. Playing a little bit more defensively here in the middle map. He has got the SMG and just sitting tight, making sure that nobody can penetrate through that middle map here. Trying to provide some support to his teammates. Ainsley on his right hand side has just been dropped down by Zalur. And now he's just going to patrol across this middle statue area. Has seen one player coming towards him. Not being able to land any bullets on him. His teammate cleaned up that kill. He, they are very, very this team expectation, a very team work um, employed here in this middle map. Yeah, Rob's on a four kill streak, just trying to hunker down inside this mid statue position, taking an advanced position now over to the mechanic side, trying to get to Team Supremacy's flag. He's got the MP7 out, following Ainsley as Ainsley puts some bullets over there in the thing, but no, he's going to take out Zalur there, and now he's going to be making his way oh. up and takes out Tony Ja, and he's just one kill away from that Hellstorm. Actually, matter, matter of fact, just one sneeze away, uh, an assist away, you could say, from that Hellstorm, but he's just waiting for his teammates now, as we're seeing immense pressure now from Team Expectation, trying to get Team Supremacy's flag, and because of that, it's putting a lot of pressure on Team Supremacy, and they're going to have to backtrack now, and uh, and that's really unfortunate. They can't put any pressure towards Team Expectations flag, and because of that, they're in a very awkward position. Here we go. It's going to be oh, on. There he is. He earns the Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. It gets taken out before he can earn that Stealth Chopper, but Scorch Streak's definitely going to play big later on in the map. 
Yeah, vital kill there. I thought he was actually going to get taken out on that right-hand side, but he did manage to make that kill. That got him two streaks, so that was such a vital play because, as you say, they are going to come into play so, so heavily because, of course, currently on the bad side, they can use it to defend the flag or save it for the good side, capture a flag with some aid from those, or even they could get one on the bad side. Those are the three different options here, but I would have thought that he'll hold on to them until things get a little bit tough for his team. Yeah, and Wagi on a three kill ship. I'm on board with him. He's got that MSMC with the A94 combo, able to take out Gitz from there, backtracking towards his flag, and Gitz taken out by Reckon within that coffee section. Let's get on board with Reckon, and he's taking an advanced position, trying to get the flag of Team Expectation. Gets in a gunfight, but look at that. He is not always going to get taken out, and he uh, really unfortunate. He had such a great position there, but 50 seconds remaining. Still 0-0 zero, zero score right now, and it has been uh, Team Expectation doing a great job applying that pressure to Team Supremacy. And uh, not only that, but keeping them away from getting a flag capture. When they transfer over towards the uh, good side, I think they're going to thrive. Yeah, team expectation definitely on top right now. I mean, look at Rob's 12 to 3. Every player on uh, the supremacy lineup currently negative. So that does have a sign of uh, the, uh, the the way the kills are going anyway. So we're yep. on board with Elixir. Just trying to push out this left-hand side. Although with 20 seconds left on the clock, can't really be seeing too much uh, happening unless uh, some freak of nature actually happens up this middle map. Lixley just looking for some kills, just trying to clean the round up nicely. Does get a lot of hit markers into the back of one of this French players line up there, and uh, Robs comes and cleans that up. But we are going to go in to the half. Nil, nil. Stand down. Yeah, nil, nil draw. right now currently. And uh, as I'm looking, it's just uh, relatively... Well, as you said, the KD is really swaying towards uh, positive for expectation supremacy, struggling quite a bit. And uh, that just comes down to the gun skill, you know, and uh, it's also going to uh, really affect their capture to flag plays. As we're switching over towards this, uh, <laughs> that was a weird tweet. As we're switching over now, it is going to be expectation on the good side. Let's get on board with them and see how they're going to be able to react. Let's get on board with Robs. I think he's going to be the main objective player. He still has that Hellstrom and Lightning Strike taking an aggressive approach towards this blue section. Throw smoke. Actually going to go over the jump up. Smoke is going to clear. Uh, the line of sight for Team Supremacy on him. And uh, he does know somebody's over to his left, over by that trash can over there in Skips. And we're seeing massive gunfights go on. Two's going to go down for Supremacy. That's going to allow Team Expectation. There he goes. Oh. The, and he's going to get in there. He does see another person backing off quite wisely. His teammate is going to be able to pick up another kill. And here we go. He's going to be making his way towards the flag as soon as this lightning strike goes through. Yeah, it looks as if he has actually called that in. I thought he might just ping it to see where they all were at one point, but Rob managed to take down two, and they need to capitalize from this. He's used one of his score streaks, has got another one left in his arsenal. Should they get in a bit of a tight spot halfway up? Rob's still going on this street, deciding not to challenge and run away. Does get taken down by Tony Jar from the middle map, though. Yeah, and look at this. The flag is down. Elixir, he last alive, trying to throw some stunts in there. And no, the flag is, in fact, going to be returned. And now it's going to be all that work all over again. Some great plays by Supremacy coming up there to get the return. Gets him on a four kill streak as I hop on board with him. He's got the A94 with the MSMC right now. And it seems Supremacy now is taking the same strategy as Team Expectation, did, yeah. trying to lock down this midsection and then slowly pushing up. But they've not been able to advance any further yet. As we're hitting the 330 mark, we need to really see something go on from these two teams. If not, we're going into overtime. Yeah, what we're seeing here from Supremacy is very much they're mirroring what uh, Team Expectation did in the first half. Uh, Super, uh, get some, sorry, playing the exact same role as what Robs did, however, with an AN94. He manages to take down Wongi and instantly retreat him back to Double D. Knows that flag's being pulled behind Our him and he's going to use the support of his teammates Our to get himself a Hellstorm on that cutoff on blue. So both teams have one Hellstorm apiece. Worse. If we just bring up that scoreboard, 21 to 6 from Rob, so he is slaying very very, very well, but not being able to capitalize on that. Yeah, really sadly, but gets him on a six kill streak. Has earned a Hellstorm one kill away from that lightning strike. And if you're in the war machine, that could definitely come big with clearing out that mechanic section. There he goes, earns the lightning strike, but Ainsy is going to be behind enemy lines, taking him out. Let's get on board with Ainsy now as he's trying to make his way through skits, putting bullets to someone over there. Covered steps is going to get the kill there on Tony oh. Job and gets taken out by Reckon there, stopping him from advancing towards that flag. And again, now it's going to be team, I can't believe it, team expectation now having to go on damage control, pushing forward. And, uh, man, you know, Supremacy, just great stuff on the defensive side of things, you know? Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Both teams having a little bit of a struggle here, trying to get that final move, that final play to actually get on the flag. The 
both teams are so, so well set up around the flag to actually defend it. So I'm going to get on board with Getsum now. He's got himself a lightning strike and a Hellstorm missile. Those have got to be very, very crucial. I wonder if he'll actually use them or save them until overtime. Uh, he's probably going to save them until the flag either gets run or taken by the opposite team on this map. Cut off point, or he's going to use it in overtime. As it's looking right now, with nobody with an advanced position, probably going to use them during that overtime section. Uh, but Reckon right now is getting challenged from the blue section, not picking up on anybody there. So that's going to give him uh, the uh, incentive to push forward. He knows somebody's in graves, going to leave him alone so he can uh, go over towards the flag right now. And uh, looks like he is, in fact, going to try to make a flag run after he kills this guy, but no, missing quite a bit. And now oh, it gets taken out by Tyler. Uh, his own team taking him out. Very sad stuff there. Yeah, I'm going to hop back on board with Rob's currently having a cracking game, 23 to 9. He wants to get himself pushing down this left-hand side. He's got a teammate behind him in support should he need it, which it looks as if he may do. There was that player just in front of him, comes diving around. He absolutely destroys him there. Taking down, gets him. There's another player, but he does get headshotted by Reckon. So this is now going to be 24 and 10 for him. And no flags captured yet in this game. So this no. is, as we said, it's a very, very tight, tense matchup here. Yeah, it just shows how even these uh, teams... Five, six, and it was just a team expectation able to take it over, but capture the flag, just the same kind of game uh, whenever we're seeing just the evenness of both teams. And there we go, Ainsley going down by Tony Ja. Very great shot on his part. It's going to be three down, four team supremacy expectation, trying to move up and gain some position to try to get this flag capture within the last 30 seconds. They have about time for one more push, and if they're not able to get it, we're going into overtime. Oh, Wongi hard. over here by the cop car position, trying to advance over towards the enemy flag. He is, in fact, going to get that back oh, 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 and he does. He's able, he's able to get a nice kill there, and uh, Ainsy and Elixity, Elixity trying to get a flag, he's going to go down. Ainsy, if he can get this kill here, he's going to be free to grab this flag. He's trying to backtrack him with just 10 seconds remaining. It is going to be GG No Re going into overtime, and uh, man, I don't, I don't even know who's going to take this. I, I'm, at, I'm really at a loss of words, Gucci. See, I, if going on paper here, I would have gone with team expectation. I mean, the way that they're actually out slaying this Supremacy lineup really is strong. However, there are more score streaks available in Supremacy's Arsenal, so I think that will come into a huge influential factor. Yeah, but seriously, but I mean, I, I don't know what it is about Team Supremacy. They're just able, even though they're not outgunning Team Over Expectation, time. they're getting those crucial kills that they yeah, need to get. Ones that matter, yeah. and, and that's what it really, that's what it matters. I mean, I've seen teams go negative, everybody go negative, but able to take a capture flag or take a harp one out because they play the objective. And that's what Supremacy is doing right now. They're playing the objective. Expectation is trying to slay and get those score streaks, but maybe it's going to pay off. But you know what? Gitsum has a Hellstorm and a Lightning Strike, and it is still going to be, I believe, Rob's with the Hellstorm and a Lightning Strike. So, Pretty evenly matched whenever it comes to score streaks, but we're underway with the uh, overtime. Oh, Gucci, what are you seeing? Uh, well, I'm just going to hop on board with Rob's as he's closest up there to Hopefully defend that flag. Does manage to get that player get dropped down with the help of his teammate. Rob's goes in, not able to Our make that vital kill. Wongi there. Let's jump on board with him as he's trying to prevent that flag getting pulled away from that. It does get reset back on the spawn area. And Wongi just coming down this right-hand side to prevent anybody pushing up on that police car area, which, of course, can be so, so vile. Yeah. I mean, if you get a player on there slaying into your spawn, then you are really in the summit deep duty. Oh, I Remy, mean, seriously, deep duty, like you just said. I mean, exactly. that cop car, is, it's so difficult to get people off of that. But I'm on board with Wongi still. He's on a four kill streak. No, he's getting challenged by Tony J there, but it is going to be Elixity cleaning him up, doing some great defensive work there. They are on the bad side right now, so trying to capitalize on that with some defensive work. Wongi on a five kill streak now, just one kill away from the Hellstorm. Robs able to pick up a beautiful two piece there, extending yeah, his kill streak to a two kill streak. And the flag is, in fact, going to be taken by Robs there. It's going to board with him. He looks like he's got a clear path now. It blues. Going to be covered over there by Wongi. Rob's clear to take this, but a lightning strike coming in is going to take him out. That's going to leave Wongi last alive, though, on five kill streak, taking some bullets from the back. He's going to get a nice kill there on Zyler. Can he get another one? No, he cannot, and that's going to avoid him from getting any score streaks, which he desperately needed. Tony Joe with a three piece there, getting himself a four kill streak, and he is on the police, guys. Teammates were pulling that flag, but it looks as if they pushed too heavy up that left hand side there. There was nobody blocking that right hand side spawn for Team Supremacy, which meant they, they, the flag pull was cut out instantly as they ran it straight at the spawning area.
Yeah, but Reckon trying to do some work now as he's got Xyler attempting to uh, guard that skip section. Does get taken out, but a Hellstorm coming in. If that's going to stop him, that's going to be a big play. And it does, in fact, look like it's going to stop him as Rob's able to get that Hellstorm to blow up one of the uh, uh, Hummers there and uh, gets him trying to control that skips. Tony Jack going in for a flat cap. Is he going to be able to get it? Yes, he does. And that's going to be a 1 0 lead right now in this in this uh, series for this overtime. First flat cap going in. Great stuff on their part. Supremacy now putting the pressure on team. Team expectation is expectation has to get a flat cap now, which I believe in just under three minutes. Yeah, it was roughly about that. I mean, we'll get the confirmation of time there. Two minutes 17 on the clock. So, yeah, it was actually quite a fast flag cap, although that did seem quite some time in that round. So, we need to be getting on board with team expectation, see how they can do this as they are currently chasing down that flag. Yeah, and the pressure is definitely on for them. It is clutch time. They have time for about four pushes here. Now, Elixir, he's not going to waste any time pushing up in there. Is he going to get some opposition? He does see a tropicism, gets taken out by Gitsum. That's going to leave Robs right now trying to attack the skip section. Beautiful jump up spot. Put some bullets into somebody, making somebody weak over there who uh, backtracks in that corner. It's going to be Xyler. Xyler gets taken out. Robs just trying to hunker down until his teammates get up here. But a beautiful breakout position now from Team uh, expectation now, and I'm expecting him to do some magic here as Elixity, as well as his other teammates, going to be pushing forward, side. and that's Rob's taking the flag. Rob's took that flag right from under Supremacy's nose. He knew there was a player at the back because, of course, there was that UAV. I'm surprised Rob's didn't run straight in towards down. that blue building then because he knew there was a player there. Would have, of course, helped him out the with the safety of that Hellstorm. So that flag was reset, unfortunately, from the middle map area. So I'm going to jump on board with Wongi now, playing very, very aggressive, pushing down this right-hand side. Is having a good game as well. 34 kills on the board for him, but gets shut down by Zalur. Yeah, sadly, the flag was just short of the graveyard position as Robs was trying to take him, but he gets taken out of Lixity just a bit late on that kill, and that allowed, I believe, Gitsum to get that return, which they desperately needed. Now, 55 seconds remaining. They got time for about one or two more pushes. They're making some great headway, though, So you see Elixity as well as his partner Wonky in the backside section. Robs also pushed up as well. <laughs> oh, but Reckon with the beautiful, necessary two-piece. 40 seconds remaining. Time is desperately counting down. Reckon's going to get another kill on Wonky going big on this defensive position. That's what they need. That is extremely essential. Robs is just going to hunker down right now until his teammates push up. Robs finally oh, making a move, but gets taken out, man, by a reckless Hemtex coming in there. Just 25 seconds remaining. This is make it or break it time. Yeah, they are going to be heavily pushing in now. Ainsley looks like he's close to that flag. Does provide some support to his teammate. Where has Reckon gone to do that kill? He managed wow. to take down Wong and it looks like that is going to be good game. And 2-1 into the lead now for flag. Team Supremacy. Wow, that is enough, enough Jigglypuff. That's going to Team Supremacy right now, 2-1. And wow, I Reckon went absolutely huge. Even though he went 24-26 and 26 in this overtime round, he went absolutely big, getting those doubles and triple kills, as well as those singles kills that were absolutely necessary to keep Team Expectation from getting their flag within a lot of time limit that they needed to win this overtime round. And that is, in fact, going to be Team... Look at that. Rob just running around in a circle. He knows it's over, having some good fun there as well. He's just going to take him out. And uh, impressive stuff from Team Supremacy there. Yeah, taking yeah, the lead. 2-1, putting them in position to take this best of five. But hardpoint up next. Supremacy was able to win the first hardpoint, but now they have to deal with expectation. Looking like they warmed up quite a bit more than they did the first round, which we didn't have the uh, pleasure to see. But coming up hardpoint, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, I think this is going to be make it or break it. I mean, if Supremacy carry on the way that they just played towards the end of that uh, capture the flag overtime, I mean, I thought that Team Expectation were actually on top there. I thought they were out slaying until it came to overtime. Supremacy really stepped it up and showed them what they are made of here on EGL TV. Yeah, it just comes to show you that if you play the objective, it's a lot more crucial to play that than it is to get the uh, the KDs, I guess, high. And that's what Ex or Supremacy just showed us.